Hello and good evening, everybody. Am I coming through okay? This thing isn't... Well, actually, the thing hasn't started kicking in, but hopefully it's not drowning me out. Sweet. All right, let's make sure everything is synced up since this is on the PS3. 
A, B, C, one, two, three. Way off? Oh, how bad. Voice first. Okay, so this one's going to need a bigger delay. Mm, almost like two. Let's see how that does. Alright, let's try it now. A, B, C, one, two, three. first. Okay, so I overshot. Is it by a huge margin or is it pretty close? See, one, two, three. Action still. All right, we're getting close. Let's just narrow it down. A, B, C, one, two, three. Doesn't look like it changed, but I'm zero it to uh I'm gonna laugh if it like suddenly fixed itself. I'll bring it back to 2000. A, B, C, one, two, three. Action first. Okay, so this one's even. This is all over the place. Because I just brought it back to what it originally was, now it says action first. Mm. And A, B, C. One, two, three. Beep, beep, beep. All right, hang on. Let me get this. I'm gonna bring up my stream just to see how it is. Remind me to un uh, unmute the stream. I want to be talking to myself again. Yeah, it's always a change up when this happens. real far for this. A, B, C, one, two, three. Wow, that is really off. Wait, hang on. B, C, 
One, two, three. Okay, voice first by about like half a second. Looks good for me. How's it look for you? Really close now? All right, we'll work with that. And unmute the stream so uh, y'all can be able to hear the mic. So yeah, Danny, to answer your question, uh, this was originally on the PSP, so I wouldn't be surprised if not many people have heard about it. Um, this is the HD port that was on the PS3, and yeah, that's like really the only big console uh, release for it. Um, wasn't on... Actually, I can probably understand if people who played through like Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain had no idea what was going on. They probably never played this. So why is my audio for oh, Can y'all hear uh, Mike okay? It's a bit um, soft on my I end. I heard myself coming through. Pretty sure. I can hear him. Okay, good. Yay! Might just be my uh, might could be louder. It could be. Bring it up. I mean, I'm also keeping my voice down a little bit. All right, should be fine there. Right, so yeah, welcome to Peace Walk Revisited. I have not played this since year one. As you can see, I still have my save file from back then when it was called Sneaker McKenzie. We're not going to go through that one, though. So that, May 27th, 2015. That was a long time ago. A Dang. very long time ago. But we're going to... Yeah, cancel. We're going to make a whole new game. We're going to use the uh, the John L. Gaming tag this time. Hang on. Uh, 15. Yeah, this should be enough. I think. Uh, no. How do I... There we go. Oh, usually it's kind of like uh, texting on an old phone. Yeah. Or if you hit the button four times, it'll go to the uh, the uppercase or lowercase. I have a uh, I have a keyboard for my PS4. It is so much easier. Uh, let's see. I'm just four. What's MPO? Is that Portable Ops? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is all based of like if you were using the PS uh, PSP, but since it's on the PS3, we're gonna use the shooter type. Um, three shots, slot cycle. Select auto aim switch. There you go. That's the one that I wanted. Co ops comms. Now that I actually use the co op comms. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this this whole thing, well, not almost the whole thing, will be co-op minus the intro and I believe the first mission. Because I have to go through that whole thing by myself, and then when we get to the second mission, Mike can then join in. Mm-hmm. I mean, that mission's like two minutes long. Yeah. Like because this is on the PSP, a lot of these missions are like really short. So think of it as like uh, Phantom Pain, but portable. Phantom Pain Light. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Phantom Mild Discomfort. <laughs> Phantom Itch. <laughs> I believe this is like 10 years after the events of Snake Eater. Which is all this is uh, recapping. Uh, 1971. 71, so, okay. So. Yeah, I think, I think it's like 10 years. I think Snake Eater was 62, 63 around there. Wait, hold and on. Then, uh, uh, let's see. Phantom Pain was 1984, nine years, 1975. So this would be 1974. Oh, maybe I did read it wrong. I'm working backwards. Ah, oh, come on, man. your name used to mean something. <laughs> now you're just selling NFTs. I had such high hopes for Phantom Pain because I played the hell out of this game, and I was hoping to be able to play through the campaign as co-op. Can you like, imagine how much fun that would have been? Oh yeah. I forgot Great Alyle was in this. Yeah, I forgot who she voices. Probably. Probably might have been. Wanna go around? Superman more like Snake Man. Look alive, ladies! The boss is gonna join us! Show him how it's done, boss! I love your this. Your first priority sergeant. in enemy territory is knowing your surroundings. Your life depends on where you are looking, and how fast you can identify your target. Therefore, you must first master moving your line of sight. To move your line of sight, use the right stick. Now when I give you an order, look in that direction. Look up. Good. Look down. Good. You should be familiar with the up and down controls now. I know Press they the did this in Phantom Pain. I don't know if they did it in, uh, in this game, but it, like had it set either way and it really determined whether or not you played um, inverted on the camera controls or not. Okay! I don't remember. Next we'll check your left and right. Look right! Good! Look left! Good! Sure. I'm you should be that. familiar with the left and right controls now. Press the action button if you're ready to move on. Okay. It, oh, it did it for me. I think. All right. Let's try left and right on the right stick one more time. Look right. Good. Yep, it did Look it for left. me. Look left. Good. 
You should be familiar oh, with the left and right controls now. Yeah. Press no, the not for left and right, but it was set on. to be inverted, and I was messing with it, so it did it for me. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I remember you when can we were change the controls anytime in uh, options. Inverted. I was like. Go with the method that works best for you. Who the fuck does that? Next, I I'll no explain idea. how to change stances. If you just <laughs> stand there like an idiot in front of an enemy, you might as well kill yourself now. At Harsh. times, you will need to get low to avoid detection. You have three stances: Bro, stand, that crouch, bad, and lying dude. down. To change stances, use the crouch button. Tap the crouch button to change between standing and crouching. You can move in Control. either Control stance. On Hold the crouch God, button KYS. and keep it held to lie down. <laughs> However, you cannot move while you are lying down. I'll say that again. You cannot move while lying down. Is that clear? But I could do that in the other Metal Gear games. <laughs> Good. Next, we'll work on your movement. Use the left stick to move around. Tilt it a little to walk slowly. Tilt farther to run. Decide which to use based on your situation. Remember that your footsteps are louder when running, making you easier to discover. Be careful! I am speaking. I am running. Good! Now we have rolling. Rolling is useful for knocking down enemies in your way, and for getting away when surrounded. You can also use it Captain, to jump over small mean, ditches button? and other obstacles. Any buttons. To roll, tap the crouch button while running. You got that? <laughs> tap the crouch button while running. Don't forget it. Crouch button? You mean crotch button? <laughs> That's it. Next, I will explain how to attack without gunfire. You may run into an enemy unexpectedly. You may not have a weapon on you, or you may be out of ammo. You'll still need an effective attack strategy. One well-placed strike and the enemy won't know what hit him. To strike an enemy, press the attack button while standing <laughs> still. On my command, press the attack button repeatedly <laughs> and take down your opponent. Go. I'm ready, boss. <laughs> if anybody knows how to do a real fun <laughs> tutorial, it's Kojima. Impressive, boss! Next, we're gonna practice using the stun rod. Hitting someone with the stun rod will shock them with a million and a half volts. Anyone on the receiving oh, end of that is guaranteed rod. to be out cold. Nice boss shirts. To use um, the stun rod, press the yeah, aim button to ready it, then beach. press the attack button. You'll be glad to know we're using mock stun rods for this training it session. When your partner <laughs> attacks, make him believe it's the real deal. I think Prepare yourself have the, for uh, stun players rod wonder training. why he has the scar on his Go. chest. I'm ready, boss. I'm going to zap you. I'm ready, act. boss. Fine work, boss! You're a good actor. Now, we'll move on to CQC. CQC, or Close uh, Quarters boss, Combat, that was a refers live to when stun engaging rod. an enemy in battle <laughs> at very close range. It is a quick uh, and efficient way of eliminating off, a threat. Off. There are various CQC techniques. We will go over each of them. Don't get cocky because you think you know them. This will be different from what you're used to. Pretend you are learning it for the first time. The first technique is throwing your opponent. I haven't played to this do in this, like six position years. Yourself this near is your opponent my first and time. And press the attack button while you tilt the left <laughs> stick. Be sure to press the attack button when the icon appears. Now, wait for my command Superman's and throw your opponent. <laughs> go! I'm ready, boss. That was the symbol of a wire saw. That's a spoiler. <laughs> Wait, didn't that happen in... He's, uh, Fine work, boss! Thank you, Peter. Uh, Next, no, I'm going to teach you how to restrain an opponent close to you. This is the a cornerstone of CQC. Grab hold of an enemy, and the bastard's life is in your hands. What you do from there. there is up to you. Eh. Just know oh, that if you restrain oh, him for fine. too long, the average person will most likely pass out. Something to keep in mind. Let's begin. To restrain your opponent, hold down the attack button while near them. Restrain your opponent on my command. Go! I'm ready, boss. I know how to do this. <laughs> I'm ready, Fine boss. Fine work, boss! Now we will throw your opponent after restraining them. 
To throw an enemy to the ground, press a direction on the left Emma stick going, when you have them restrained. Backing down with your solid two. Restrain your opponent <laughs> and throw them on my command. Like, how do I hold your hand? Go! Oops. I'm ready, boss. I close my fist and put it in your face. <laughs> Impressive, boss! Zero crack. Now we will try CQC against multiple enemy <laughs> opponents. Shit. You can also take out a group of enemies by throwing an opponent you have you restrained. Lie? You lie? First, restrain an opponent by pressing the attack button near them. Then, tilt the left stick to throw them. By tilting the left stick toward other enemies, you can send your captive flying straight into them. On my command, restrain and then throw your opponent. Go! I'm ready, ready boss. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny. Bo. Hmm. Fine work, boss! Again! Go! I'm ready, boss. Insert bowling pin sound here. Fine work, boss! All right! Why don't we do something special since the boss is here? Anyone who feels like getting their ass kicked, step forward! Don't hold back, boss! When you're surrounded by multiple enemies, you'll have to take them on one after back, the it's other. Gonna be a lot of broken to do it, necks. simply press the attack button again while throwing the current enemy. Just be sure to wait for the icon to appear. Go. I'm ready, I'm ready boss. boss. Have you guys filled out your uh, your wills? <laughs> next. Gonna find the next kid. <laughs> Fantastic. Again! Go! I'm ready, ready boss. You. Fantastic! And stop! That's it for today! Thank you, boss! Uh, boss, these guys aren't breathing anymore. That'll be fine. Just give them a rash. What's going on, Kaz? We've got guests. Time to move. Cars. Don't worry, it's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me Snake. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. Here's a towel. Listen up. For us, there is Big no boss. victory. But in revolution. Doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. Here. Ah, uh, thank you. Hi, Steve Bloom. <laughs> I feel like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. Yeah, yeah, the art style for the cutscenes is awesome. Over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours. Because Shinkawa, that's why. Uh, it was him Costa Rica and another uh, artist. And she's in the credits somewhere. I forgot Correct. Like, like Article something. 12 of our Constitution Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. That the army she did this and also the, um, because there are cutscenes like this the in, uh, portable ops as well. Yeah. You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. What's your government's take? 
The authorities Bang. in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. There's also They're bringing uh, an in artist state of the art weaponry Twitter, and equipment by the shipload. He does. Um, Where did they get that really kind of close? Cash? Uh, I fear. Styles of Yoji Shinkawa. I think I might have seen that on Twitter. The CIA. Yeah, I, I like to. As you both too, know, so up. the United States views Central America so as its backyard. Well, this is pre-Phantom Pain Cuba, uh, Miller, so he's a little bit happier, a little bit a delicate like, yeah. balance with the U.S. Uh, 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 how to put it. And your government can't just give them Less food. angry? We <laughs> are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can maintain an army. Very I understand true. that you and your men have neither state nor ideology. Then you will fight any foe. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Who you call a nerd, yes. nerd? Yes. Hi, Ray. As our deterrent. Nerd. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But, we can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds pretty good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake, we need some place we can settle down. The government's agreed to cooperate. Unofficially, of course. A chopper for transport would be nice, too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. If your suspicions are true, force isn't gonna do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. <laughs> this is my student. Oh, I got bot. She came to me Thank to you, study peace. Her name is Paz. Paz Ortega. Oh, Paz. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. John Jacob. Jingle Pleased to Heimer meet you, Schmidt. Paz. <laughs> Call me Kaz. Kaz and Paz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon, a town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility while searching for a lost friend. She was captured. She's only a child. 16 years old. They did terrible things to her. He's a but minor, I'm not doing it. To Just escape. because he has an <laughs> S on his chest doesn't mean I'm going to. Oh. God. <laughs> she's Huerfana. Her mother died when she was small. Oh, she's got she lost marks. her grandparents in the Civil War. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> she hates war with a passion like no other. He totally did. <laughs> my name is Paz. <laughs> I'm on a delay and I need to protect my namesake. It is my one and only purpose. Yeah, maybe his one surviving eye has x-ray vision. Please, get them out of my country. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, when you lose Costa one Rica. sense, all the others, Sorry, you know, kid. we know who you get stronger are, to compensate. It makes sense. That is it's like he lost one eye and the other you. one got stronger to compensate. So x-ray vision, binocular vision, microscopic <laughs> vision. That eye does everything. Could just be nano machines, son. Nano machines. <laughs> Miller here. 
I have, but I didn't complete it. Landed. I rented that it. Makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the offshore plant. I should revisit base. that one. Actually, the play it through completely. Unidirectional. I'll be giving you commands and advice through this channel. Keep your headphones on at all like times and pay ball. attention. Also, make sure no one else can listen in. Grenade! Are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. Use the left like stick to move. Use the right stick to adjust your view. To change your settings, use the start button to open the menu. There's no one around. Why not try some shooting practice? Select a target and squeeze off a round or two. Press the directional button while holding the R2 button to switch weapons. Ready your weapon with the L1 button, then press the R1 button to fire. <laughs> now, how about a little shooting practice? Try hitting a Lemo. coconut. A coconut. There a coconut Select here. Select equipment by pressing the square or circle button while holding the L2 button. Check your map. Press the start button to open the menu. I'll put one to sleep. The Mark 22 tranquilizer gun can put enemies to sleep. The closer to the head you hit, the more effective it is. Tranquilizer rounds are hard to come by. Don't waste them. The facility you're headed for is past that fence. A grenade should be able to take out that gate. Grenades explode. You throw them, Snake. Use um, the L1 button to ready throwing weapons. I'm Once you pull the pin weapon, and onto it, guys. With the R1 How long does it use? When using throwing Ten weapons, seconds? Hold the attack button down longer I mean, to throw farther. The hand you won't throw the weapon until you let go of the button. Uh, Kaza didn't open the gate. Hey, don't you think you could use a little more practice? Nope, I think I got it. <laughs> I gotta thank you for agreeing to this, Snake. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her. For you. her. For her. Yeah, 1974. Barranquilla. Not to be confused with Barranquilla Coast, Norway. Are they still here? <laughs> Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. They're willing to give us an offshore plant. Well, they want to we show off that put down texture, some roots. Right? This is our chance to expand and MSF. Like <laughs> we don't need a place to stay, guys. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it still that. technically be called blinking? We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering yeah, from I think conflict it would be. to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new I think kind it's all, of business. with all his like surviving eyes, superpowers still so really strong too. He Look, doesn't need to blink. It's not like we're trying to start a war here. <laughs> all we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're backed by the CIA. Wait a second. Okay, seriously, that Snake, your Zippo was out of fluid. Our Reef friend, and the professor, is I likely KGB. Get it. Give me a couple I more see. tries. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. That's and the worst, no though. Yeah, I, I, got a, I got a light of smoke. Ah, I'm, damn I'm out of fluid. Light. Oh, come on. Because huh? the flame <laughs> just pops up just a moment and flickers back with the professor. Damn it. Like I'm not gonna carry a big ass bottle of frickin' lighter fluid with me everywhere. There's a solution. Just get that hand. Ah, uh, I would chop that off my arm if smoker. I could have one of those. <laughs> when I got my medal from the Secretary General, he gave me this prosthetic hand as well. But smoking was ruining my lungs. Except so I don't I want. Except I don't want. I've not had much one. use for it since. <laughs> It's quite an honor to meet the legendary Big Boss.
That's just a code name the CIA made up. Then perhaps I should call you John. <laughs> That's my I name. name. Stop using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. What about you, comrade? What do they call you back at center? My name is not important. Well then, allow me to get straight <laughs> to the point. No, your name is Frank. Or wait, Land no, was that, as uh, slim as a whip, Vulcan hot Raven. as torture. That's uh, the Chilean poet, Neruda. Think so? Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. You're manipulating Sandinista into overthrowing Somoza for you. After the revolution, Nicaragua will become a socialist state. You think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border in Nicaragua. Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more complex than that. The CIA's got something else planned as well. What? That is the million dollar question. Big Boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility in La Costa where Paz was imprisoned. Learn all you can of their operations. Then, drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA? What about her? That was all just an act? Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend a, happened to either that's a by big accident. ass cassette, or he's what got a that? small hand. A portable stereo cassette player, the first of its kind. Ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe this what you're about just to short of will help you price. <laughs> What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls and stumbled upon this. So? So what? Rutherford? <laughs> now it gets interesting. Go home. Oh, 
Voice print analysis confirms that this voice is indeed that of the legendary hero and criminal, the boss. Wh what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? I... I am loyal to myself. Oz is alive in Costa Rica. As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your side. And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. PTSD there moment. <laughs> moment there, I can't speak. Well. What'll it be? I know how to speak. Will you take the job? Snake, it's gotta be a trap. So you still can't turn your back on your country? Then I suppose you won't need this. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. For peace, then. <laughs> For peace, he says, as he shoots up an entire army. <laughs> there they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> this is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. Percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Sleep. <laughs> Bye. This is where I got caught during the test. You got caught in this part? Yeah, when we were doing the test. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Which one was the one that got you? Uh, <laughs> He was over. He was off to the left. After this mission caution. is when uh, I can join in for co-op. Ah, oh, crap, my suppressor's gone. Yes, cause. They'll never see me coming.
in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. I saw two of them. Where's the other one? There he is. Alright, if I miss, this one's gonna suck. My aim be Head true. Head for the building to the east. We need intel on that base. Damn it! Enemy attack! <laughs> Got him. Alright. It's fine. He's asleep. Let's go. Yes, sir. We broke him. We acquired the whereabouts of target 500. Acknowledged. Spears are loaded. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Al. <laughs> Quick time event. Freeze. The cargo. Where's it headed? What is it? Air suit. In the mountains. What's up there? So here's a fun thing when doing these uh, quick time events in co-op. Both players are able to do it. And whoever does it first wins. Assuming they get it uh, the right timing. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Ashley Wood, that's who it is. Ah. Like this art style that you see Snake. here, that's Ashley Goss, Woods. Can and then you hear me? Like, Loud I guess clear. this you one would be the uh, Shinkawa's art. It's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase. Let's switch frequencies detailed. from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading rougher the style marshes Ashley's. west towards Irasu. Yeah. Nice going, boss. Cause this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Uh, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. They're bringing nukes into Costa Rica. Holy mother of God. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Todd. No alerts. Did it get a caution? Probably just like didn't go through it fast enough. As we progress, we get our oh, stuff to rank up How's with. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. <laughs> Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Openall will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. 
The treaty was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the U.S. itself is gonna scrap it... Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA's up to in Costa Rica, the Professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. Looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it heaven. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Is this gonna let me go through mother base or what? Yep. So yeah, there's mother base. Uh, unlike uh, P oh, not Peace Walker, a uh, Phantom Pain, you cannot step foot on it. Let you be able to do all your stuff like you could with like the um, what's it called? The iDroid. You got your R and D. No, I don't want a tutorial. I don't know how to do it. I know how Intel. I know how develop. <laughs> develop stuff. Nothing new. At least for the time being. I think. Tell us when we have stuff to be able to um, do upgrades and whatnot. Not, no, not versus. I wanted the settings. Back out. No. <laughs> God damn it. I did that earlier. <laughs> Quit and return to Mother Base. There we go. Okay. Should be good, because saved everything from before. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next mission and bring Mike in. Yay! No, we can only do this one. So yeah, all the stuff that it'll say on the right, how many you'll be able to, to have. Snake, do I rigged that radio so you can contact our young lady friend, Paz. Is she okay? No need to worry. She's tougher than you think. Still just a kid. Which is exactly why she could be an effective source of information. Besides, that little Angel de la Paz is the one who gave us this mission, right? <sighs> I guess. I'll put her on. Snake. Paz, where are you? Ciudad Colon. A school. The teacher told me to stay here until things quiet down. Teacher? Oh, him. He's... Yeah, that's probably good advice. See, si. He has a radio in his room, so we can talk anytime. <sighs> Pretty fancy for a teacher. Promise me, Snake, that you'll bring back peace and... I know. I'll contact you if I find your friend. Thank you. Snake, if you need to know about Costa Rica, the geography, the climate, the wildlife, anything, just ask me. I know about its history and laws too. We learned it all in school. Got it. I have a question, I'll ask. I, uh... What? In school, I also learned that peace is an unnatural state for human society. And that war is a constant threat to our relationships with others. That's right. So, to achieve peace, we have to create it ourselves. Crying about it won't bring it about or make it last. Each one of us must go and seek it out. You won't find it without making sacrifices. No offense, but I don't know what peace is. Never felt what it's like. Huh. 
Never even been interested in it. Snake? Oh, sorry. Listen, Paz, I think your ideas are admirable. And I hope they turn out to be right. Boy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Peace is in your name. Who better to help bring it back? Thanks, Snake. I will be here whenever you need me. See you later. I'll have all my textbooks Snake, out use ready. use your radio to call people. But stay alert. You're in the middle of a mission and can't afford to let your guard down. Got it. Need to know more about Costa Rica? Haas can help you out. Good to know. We'll follow their transport route. This should take us straight to their main base. From what I've seen, it looks like nukes. Agreed. The key thing now is to confirm whether those spears really are what we think they are. And if so, why they're here. Follow the transport route. Find the nukes. That's what I'm thinking. First, we should make contact with the Sandinista Comandante. They can tell us more about what's up ahead. But it looks like their hideouts already come under attack. We better hope they're still alive. Snake, infiltrate that cabin and secure the Sandinista's Comandante. Neutralize any guards by knocking them out, putting them to sleep, or even using the Fulton recovery system. <laughs> you choose how to handle it, boss. Balloon everybody. <laughs> Friends only, channel two. Give mission prep while we'll wait for Mike to come in, so we'll stick with the usual set of everything. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with all of this default. Yeah, uh, just the various different uh, mystical jungle fatigues for now. And yeah, there's Mike. So let's get started. I've never played through this on co-op, so it's going to be pretty fun. It, it does adjust on difficulty oh. by having more people, but uh, it shouldn't be that bad. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, playing a snake as well? Yeah, it wouldn't let me change, so... Okay. I'm going to change to somebody in my combat unit, but... Like we can go through the whole thing, both of us playing as Snake, but it'll only show up as a player hosting. As a lot, like, um, on my end, it'll just be me as Snake, and you'll just uh, be a soldier wearing a balaclava. Whereas with you, it'll be vice versa. You'll be Snake, and I'll be the one with the balaclava. Balaclava. Huh. I can you think speak. they would have made it universal. Yeah. Oh, well. It's kind of disappointing because I know in the uh, in the trailer the they had multiple uh, snakes in there. <laughs> Okay, looks like you got snake formation down pat. You can use the radio you just picked up by pressing the start button to open the menu window. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. We didn't even have to calm down on that one. <laughs> there's no, thankfully there's no gas mains. Yeah. All right, I'll... I'll grab this one. I believe every uh, soldier we pick up, both of us will get it. So. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Come out. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Come yeah, we're the, we got the snake formation here. <laughs> so if Mike's uh, hanging back, I can move while he'll follow, and he can aim his gun. While still following me, like a conga line, and I can do that too. So this will be handy for doing like a boss fight, or I'm just moving around with this uh, this dude here is just like laying waste to the bosses and whatnot. Wait, do we have the cardboard box? 
Uh, I believe I have mine. I yep, I got mine. Yeah, since we both have a box, these boxes are actually rather big. So oh. ah. I can be able to get up behind it. Oh. Get too close, it'll. There we go. I'm <laughs> <Damn>. sure <laughs> oh, I picked that up, but not the food. Huh? Yeah, the ration. Or did I. Uh, okay. We gotta show the legs moving. <laughs> Are we still okay? It's not gonna. Not for the transition. There we go. See, like the see. Never notice us. Sneak out. Actually, wait, hang on. Uh, okay. Is that is that dude standing in water? No, he's laying in water. He's laying in water. Which one was that standing in water? Because if, he, if there's any of it's like standing in water or on like a metal panel, if you use the stun rod. It'll get all of them. Ah! See? <laughs> Including me. <laughs> You're fine. Vulcan recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. should be close by. Neutralize the security detail and make contact with the Commandante. Alright, you wanna go left? I'll go right. There we go. What was that? Out. Out. Uh. I'm seeing things. What is it? It's the enemy. Get up. How it doesn't care whether it's uh, whether you're in a building or not. Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. They heard you. They're gonna come take a look. What's that? I've got his I got his attention. They know someone's there. Huh? They'll oh. be coming to check it out. Huh. They heard you. They're gonna come take a look. Enemies close by. No. Not. <laughs> they spotted you. Get out of there. Is that the last one? Good. You shook up. They're still looking though. Okay. Don't make it easy <laughs> for them. Anything in here? Ooh, hello. Not bad. What was that noise? Huh? I 
was just up there. Dead. They killed Nuestro Viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax, I'm not your enemy. Cuban. Mm -hmm. A cigar? Mm. I'll take whatever you've got. He's just like waving it in front of her face. <laughs> He's like, eh? You want? I owe you one. But I prefer cigarettes, you know. <sighs> How do I look? Oh, it I is great to like lie. No? You Cubano? Mm -hmm. Colombiano. A photographer. Like I came to Costa Rica to take pictures mm -hmm. of birds. Birds? Yeah, uh, quetzals. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's all in the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! Damn it, Nemo. Tell me what's going on here. <laughs> this place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard there are security walking forces hired by so Cardesa. Weird. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. It Those looks so... Oh my god, you can enemies. see where the, each, like... Each <laughs> separate part I of the sprite is moving. Setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, it's kind of a... Uh... Whatever it is, it's not us. He's very you MS Paint. Push you back in Nicaragua. <laughs> Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew on the Rio del Jade? You mean the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there, but I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compas, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it! All right! This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua. And into this piece of Costa Rica. <laughs> there, a A monster. In mi viejo. Mi viejo. Papa. It was la esperanza. Our hope. Now that Papa's gone, my sister's la comandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papa was a hero. Who fought by Sandino's side? I am only his daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. It takes someone great to unite all of Las Compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves, neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! See what I mean? El Colibri! No. <laughs> oh, in the water, too. <gasps> Thank you. 
You or me? One alert phase, that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I'll take the A. The extracted with Fulton. Only oh, can now be infused what in road spirit. Whatever it was, yeah. it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I heard rumors, but an yeah, I think the ones with like heroic spirit the have going some on uh, here. Fact, I think that one like Amanda, um, but the hardware they've got here isn't just like, unusual. Uh, knocking on the wall. It's overkill, which means uh... one thing: it's nukes. So the question now becomes why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thinking. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost and make contact with Amanda if she's still alive. Roger. Report from the R&D team. Staff have not been assigned to a team. I am the law. <laughs> that should probably rain too. Uh, no, I know how to assign my people. Okay, so we only have the car uh, combat unit and R and D team. But what's kind of good? He's fine. Put him on R and D for now. Oh, we got the analyzer. Is it just me or does Capybara look a little bit like Johnny Depp? <laughs> You're my best friend, Jerry Smith. <laughs> I love doing cocaine with you. Oh, God. I love doing cocaine with you too, Johnny Depp. Oh, look at the uh, eel pal. He kind of looks like a like a really buff Willem Dafoe. <laughs> you can you can kind of see it with the cheekbones, right? Yeah. Cabbage White. And your code name is Cabbage White. He's on my team too. Whoa, was that Tommy Wiseau? Where? <laughs> Fuck, where was he? He had sunglasses. Oh, this one? Picari? Hang on, what's that? Uh, <laughs> Need a helping hand? <laughs> Need a helping hand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of look like him! <laughs> God. What is story mark? 
But this, it's not a real-time timer. All we gotta do is just finish a couple quick missions and it's already done. Yeah. Unlike in Phantom Pain, we got like, what, hours? I don't remember any of them taking hours. Uh, the higher level one did. I remember some taking, like, an hour. Uh, I'm trying to remember, like, I'm at some, like, really high-level ones, high-ranking, and some of them take days. That's pretty nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. The direction Amanda Sen and Isis were going corresponds to the location of the next outpost, a supply depot. We should be able to make contact with her there. We'll host on the wall. for uh, uh, health and the psych bar it's kind of like the uh, the stamina bar from uh, snake eater all this is more of like a um <laughs> nowhere near as annoying then they first introduced the psych bar in a uh, mgs4 yeah and it kind of worked off of that but it's nowhere near as like high maintenance as it was in uh, mgs4 Survival. And we've got the, uh, the briefing files. All the codec calls are all uh, now all in here. It's like the tapes Survival. from Peace Walker. Is that you? Huh? Did you just pick a, an outfit? Yeah, why? I just heard it in my right, uh, right ear. Huh? Pick something different. Survival. Yeah, I, I can hear it. Wait. Oh, uh, hold up. Survival. Yep. Oh, you're hearing it through the through the game, not through my microphone. No, no. I like it. I can hear it in the game in the game menu. In my like in my right ear. Okay. I didn't know that. All right, let's get started. At the very least, um, at least when we were doing our tests, I mentioned that like when we're in synchronized and snake formation, our health is linked as well as our items. Yeah. If one of us is looking through our uh, other person's items, like our character will start giggling. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow, that's a interesting color. Careful. <laughs> totally they not stealthy at all. Alright, I'm gonna take the left side. What was that? I'm seeing things. We clear. Almost. I'm waiting for this guy to pass out. There he is. Down pat. <laughs> okay, I won't let me pick. I, mean, I guess if I have to like take something from your inventory, then he'll uh, then he'll giggle. Regular grenades, not smoke grenades. Watch your left. Oh, I think that was you. We're not lost. <laughs> I know how map. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Is this the way? Captain. Oh. Is that rope bridge, right? Sneak in. Yeah. Okay. You might be able to get past the enemy by hanging from the bridge. Press the action button near the bridge's handrail to Sneak hang. Out. Now I'm just gonna knock him out. You can't hang down when you're crouching. He of little faith. <laughs> we just drank the guy. It's fine. Come on out. Come on in. Hang on, this is like a. Is there anybody standing in the water? Mm. We got one over there. It's not in the water, though. I totally got him. <laughs> My shot well, didn't hit the rock. I don't know what you're talking about. Confidential dock over here. Oh, is there? Where? Mm -hmm. Uh, right where I'm standing. Stay out of the water. M10. That's beyond the scope of this operation. Let's 
see it. Well, Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Careful. Got him. I know it'll take two. I know it's co-op, cause. <laughs> Banana fruta de oro. Something, something, something gold. Corrupted. Careful now. They might be holding FSLN soldiers prisoner. Man. Yeah. I got like two up there. One over there in the corner. Oh. Well, that one got him in the chest. There we go. Okay. Alright. I'll get these guys. Keep an eye out. That dude's so far. Two on the left side. Damn, I got him in the chest again. One on the very far. Guess not. Ah, there we go. <laughs> All right, my suppressor's out. I still have plenty. Only half. Go out. out. All right, this one guy should fall. Yep, there Ultra we go. Recovery Man, again. He said it now. On board helicopter. I was on the other side. Oh, I got a PO, uh, POW. Press the action there. button in front of a prisoner to take them to Mother Base using the full oh. recovery system. No one cause. What? <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, you could, set, you could bring that POW back to Mother Base <laughs> if you had a balloon. There's another one. Nice. And a confidential doc. Ooh. 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 Boomstick. Oh, oh, shotgun. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> they, they cheer. Woo oh, it's better when the the ones are female because Cos reacts to that one. <laughs> Come on now. What's this Come one? On. Ooh, tiger strike. strike. Nice. Fight. Looks like there's no way around it. You up for this, Nick? As he aims with his non-eye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be bringing along a lure. You're the reason MSF's grown so much. But it's time we started that's putting more thought into provisions. Mm -hmm. Good point. A place this no, that's is real. Good oh. <laughs> the Japanese say, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Oh, that's probably why he's not blinking steady so much. supply of provisions is one of the basic <laughs> principles of logistics. So I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount of grub to go around. Yum, Without food. enough food, morale will drop. They get hungry enough, 
and we could start losing people. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. All right, which of you know how to cook? Okay, so since the Mac 10. So even if, um, because the, the document wasn't showing up for me, so I guess since you got it, it's, I still got the, uh, the document anyways. Oh, okay. Bull shark. It's a very tiny face. <laughs> here. Uh, Bengal Vulture. Frill Shark. Flying Fish. Marma? What, are the, what the heck is a Marma? Marmot? Yeah. It's like, um... It's like a chipmunk or a prairie dog. Oh, okay. Type of, yeah, it's like a small, small-ish rodent. Let me see what his description is. You're good. Better than I expected. <laughs> Cuckoo says, give her tried chorizo? It's a Mexican sausage. Good stuff. So we should fry it up with eggs. I Hell yes. Uh, yeah, I love chorizos. <laughs> Chimpanzee says, I got a buddy named Johnny. You know him? He's probably <laughs> hanging out in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, I got a uh, gunsmith. Okay, so these guys go into the mess hall. You R and D, R and D, R and D. I'll save you. Save you. I'm trying to remember, Soliton radar is something that can be developed, right? Yeah, it's later in the game. I think we have to find the. Blueprints, we gotta find somebody who has that for their specialty. Gotcha. It really has. It's been it's been a really long yeah. time since I played this. We have the analyzer. We could have uh, uh, looked at the at the APC in order to, it would tell us how many soldiers are in there. Uh, I have one. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Because mine has just started developing. Hundred eighty-three percent food. Yeah, buddy. Everybody gets double <laughs> rations. That's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. Do you want the vehicle or do you want to take it uh, take it out? Uh I wouldn't mind having it, but Okay, so I think we gotta just take out the uh, the soldiers and ignore the uh, the vehicle. Yeah. Channel five.
Hmm. I thought we had to develop that one. Or I guess, um, because, uh, what's his name? Had it. As we got from him. Let's go ahead and stick that on there. You got the Mark 22? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go with the M16 and the wall. I want to try and knock these dudes out. I got a smoke grenade, so... Like, I'll be throwing it and I'll be doing CQC on them. Who doesn't work on these guys or um is, like the helmet hard to get through i don't know i think that you can still get them through the mask it didn't look like they had helmets on oh yeah they do have helmets so probably have to knock it off first or i could just hit him in the chest and let uh, time take its course. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Neutralize the enemy troops. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Oh, you knocked that one. <laughs> Leaders out. You knock him out. Uh, yeah, one sec. Uh, uh, I will distract him. The 
Nice. God. <laughs> I was about to shoot his helmet off and then you did it. <laughs> I put a bullet in his head. <laughs> I'm like, oops. As long as he's still alive. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> his comrades, not so much because he ran him over. Doing that to a tank, that's a different story. Be fine. Oh. The leg hurt more. I got to fall. Amanda. Chico. What? What is it? Can you roll me one? Hmm? Tobacco. Oh, yeah. Not like when you're able to hit the, uh, the thing anyways, it'll just dodge it. Chico. Ah. Hold still. I treated him like a kid again. We fought. I didn't want Chico to know. Kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua. Across the Rio San Juan. And we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Uh, Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. A front. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We used the income to buy food and weapons. Uh, Mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Oh, everyone oh my god, the x-ray vision. Oof. Yeah. Everything we have, our weapons, our compass, he brought it all together. He's we were going to rebuild too. our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. He, he does have superpowers. X-ray vision. I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us too. There's no place left to regroup. Uh, I'm no sorry, way I to fight La Revolucion. <laughs> Look at your leg. Here, I rolled you one. Stop, game. You? <laughs> You're going after that cargo? Yeah. 
Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Madre de Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... Oh, Chico... You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. Fine. It's a little bit out of my way, but... Just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison. Up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain. End his humiliation. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please, at least let him keep his honor. That's a promise I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Snake? Could it be... the great cacique? Sleep with a cigarette in your mouth. Come That's on. That's how you get burned. That's how you cut to get Guys, the house fired. Come on now. MSF here. <laughs> One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Cause the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Straight A's. Nice. Would have gotten more Fulton if we didn't run him over. Ooh, tortilla hey. chips. Mm. And soft drink. Mm. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do you feel? Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about El Frente, just ask. And please, do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Snake. We can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 
Jiku will be fine. He gets into the next game. <laughs> a bit. Yeah, get that. Get that One headphone one more jack thing. and stuff with his chest. It's about sick bay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh-huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. <laughs> Don't forget about social distancing! <laughs> There are multiple ways to take recruits. Nah, not operating washing. More like it's, convincing. It's, Although it's all yeah. about Miller's job. I think every single person we uh, bring in to like the Fulton, they wake up and find Miller just like sitting watching them. It's like, so, you decided to wake up. So, you're finally awake. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right, so we got our guns, we got our Fulton, we got the analyzer. Uh, tortilla chip, I'm to look at that, because that, I think that's one of the things that we're supposed to be, um, what do you call it? Product placement. Raven. Okay, so yeah, now that we got the, uh, the... APC. You can be able to use it for outer ops, which isn't a thing yet, but since it is damaged, it'll take some time to fix it. We may or may not have fired a couple rockets at it. Uh, definitely more than one. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the taco chips. Look at it. There we go. Organic taco chips, borderless taste. Now, this is actually supposed to be product placement in the Japanese version. It's Doritos. Damn it, Doritos. <laughs> and the, where's the other one? Okay, I, I don't have Soft enough. Soft drink. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough to develop it yet, but we could look at it. That's a lime soda. I believe this one's supposed to be Mountain Dew. Oh, Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> it's Mountain Thunder. Purple bag tomatoes? Which one was the purple bag? Um. Was that the sweet chili? Yeah, those those are really good. I'm a, I'm a spicy one. Kind of. There we go. Yeah. You medical team. Oh, there's a guy in here. That's good. For That's a whole team. You as well. Put him in the mess hall team. Hoppers just like really giving me that eyebrow. <laughs> With that that smug Reddit atheist look on his face. <laughs> Flying weapons are usually pretty noisy. They ought to be easy to find if you got a surround indicator, right, boss? Uh, yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I could go to look at uh, Amanda. Yeah, here we go. She's in sick bay. Some characters you can be able to look through the, uh, the model viewer. I think it's only the female ones. Can we zoom out? No. 
There you go. Hey, she looks nothing like her artwork. Yeah, her character model kind of looks like she's got a Karen haircut. A little bit. A little bit more poofy, but yeah, I, I, I can kind of see it. Actually, hold on. Can I be able to see, see Kaz? Yeah, there's no model viewer for Kaz. It's only the women. Oh, Kojima, you car, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good night, man. Bye, Danny. Rescue Chico. Snake, the nukes appear to have left the coastal marshes and reached the mountains around Irazu. Without a guide, it's going to be tough tracking those things in the mountains. So we need you to infiltrate one of their bases, a prison facility. I hope nothing's happened to Amanda's brother. I hear you. There may be other Sandinistas held there too. To bring them back safely to MSF, use the Fulton recovery system. As I'm sure you know from experience, it's completely harmless. After all, you won't have time to sit there and convince every single one of them to join. One other thing, Snake. Amanda. Those CIA bastards confiscated some of the houses in the village. Chico's got to be inside one of them. The houses, huh? How do I tell which ones? When they took over the houses, they installed new front doors for security purposes. The new doors are blue, with peepholes, so you can see what's inside. Oh, oh doors. Boy. Got it. You're getting close to the end of the transport route. <laughs> Good luck, Snake. Uh, channel 5. No, wait, no. Uh, is it channel 1 or channel 5? Oh, it says channel one. This is in tight. Thank you. Uh, I gotta change my shit out again. Yeah, same. Yeah. <coughs> Second one. Okay, it did automatically bring in my flow. Um, where is oh there's the analyzer. Are we matching? Chico's in a prison we are matching. <laughs> Hold a uniform. Not a multi-form. Which one of us is the real snake? Which one's the one that becomes Venom Snake? Recovery helicopter is complete. There you go. Corrupted. 
Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Any items around here? No, that's what I was looking for. The basin ahead leaves you completely exposed to sniper fire. I have a bad feeling about this. Camino de Lava. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Careful if you don't want your head blown off. I see, I got eyes on one of them. Somebody there. Where is he? Here he is. What's it mean? That was me. Oh, okay. Matching reinforcements now. Where is he? Oh, he'll 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 pass out soon. Yep. <laughs> As he was trying to climb down. Oh, was he up there? Yeah. Oh, there's a POW over right here. On the other side. Bolton recovery there. subject confirmed on board helicopter. What his uh, ranking is? Oh, he's an S rank too. God dang it! If hmm, we won't be able to get him unless until we get the uh, the Fulton launcher. <laughs> Might have it. <laughs> I like how we're just standing there's like, so how do we get him down? <laughs> Might have an idea. Uh-oh. Yeet! Really? I was th <laughs> I was hoping <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I was hoping you'd roll off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> It'd take two people to get through that. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he was rolling, he just wouldn't get off the edge. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to knock him off. God dang it. It was worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Captain. Chico's in one of these houses. You've got to find him, Snake. Nice. Right, I'm gonna check the, the, the doors. Check I know inside a house by pressing the action button in front of the door. Some of them will have different reactions. Oh. Who's there? is complete. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Huh? Oh, I say not this one. Uh. Ah. 
not this one. That's right. A war photographer. Huh? I thought you were here for the birds. Yeah, um, the birds of the battle. Whoa! Is that chess? Can I see it? Wow, the same kind of chair used! You can't keep it, kid. Here, have these instead. Those photos! Huh. Oh no, Amanda! She's safe. Don't worry. Are you sure? We're patching her up back in my place. She's hurt? I said, don't worry. It's just a broken leg. You got any cigarettes? Mm. Hey, cigar, huh? Hey! <laughs> Chico, do you know where they took the cargo? Cargo? What cargo? Let me rephrase that. How do they get stuff from the coast up here? Oh, that I can tell you. When the cargo gets to the harbor, they first send it up the marshes on a barge. Then, they load it onto a jungle train past the banana plantation and transport it by rail. The train stops here. When it gets to the train terminal past the coffee plantation, they reload it again. This time onto a truck, which disappears into a tunnel heading toward the mountains. Disappears? Chico, what's on the other side of that tunnel? Nobody knows. None of our compass ever got close enough. He's protected by a spirit. A uh, spirit? Yeah, a giant monster. El Basilisco. The king of snakes. Wait to get to the monster no, 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 really, I saw it. <laughs> I was camping up there one day, and just as I was waking up around dawn, I heard this loud noise. I opened my eyes and saw an enormous shadow. It must have been 30 bada at least. Walking on legs as big as trees. Where did you see it? At the terminal near the tunnel, but I only saw it that one time. What exactly were you doing there? I, uh, well, me and my sister got into a fight. And you just happened to go camping. Do you know, their train should be arriving at the place I saw El Basilisco right about now. Is it far? No, really. Go past the coffee plantation and it'll be to the north. What are you chasing? Something that could keep the world in balance. Or destroy it. Huh? I heard that place was a narcotics plant before those guys took it over. But you already knew that, didn't you? Huh. Look, I get it. Even revolutionaries need to pay the bills. Still, must be tough for a kid like you to swallow. You're damn right it is. The route they use to transport stuff is the same one me viejo used to smuggle drugs. He sold the drugs to the Norte Americanos and used the profits to fund the army. They tried to keep it hidden from me. Is that why you went camping? Yes. I managed to sneak into the plant a few times and they tried to set it on fire. Everyone treats me like a child. I, I I couldn't stand it anymore. I'm not a kid, I'm 12. Couldn't do it though, could you? <laughs> Chico, growing up means choosing how you're gonna live your life. To do the right thing, you sometimes have to leave the things you care about behind. Parents, family, your homeland. But mi viejo. Papa. Chico, look at the photos. Mi viejo. He's gone. But there's one thing you don't ever leave behind. Your memories. Keep them safe. 
You want to get out of here, Chico? I do, but... Come back with me. Your sister's waiting for you. I can't go back. I can't face everybody. <laughs> you told them where your compass are. I see. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Pain gets the better of us all. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I was dead. Okay, then. I'll put you out of your misery. What? Any last words? Shoot. You are only going to kill a man. Just wasted a bullet. Don't waste your life. Listen to me, Chico. You died here today. You understand? You're Ombre Nuevo. A new man. Now, give that new life to me. Huh? Fight with me, little soldier. Show me how strong you really are. <laughs> Dry your tears, then promise me one thing. No smoking until you get older. <laughs> Remember, real heroes are never as polished as the legends that surround them. You got it, boss. Uh, snake is fine. What's that? No! <laughs> <laughs> like, Turn around, kid. I'm gonna scrap a balloon to you. <laughs> At least he didn't choke him out. True. <laughs> Instead of pulling a gun on him, I would pull the Mark 22 and tranquilize him. I think that's what it did, because he did like a uh, racked slide when he fired. It looked like a 1911, though. Oh, rank B? I don't know what happened. Probably because of the alert phase. Uh. C4. Oh, we got a supply marker. Snake, Chico made it over. Snake! Chico, you made it. Made it? Don't give me that. You say you're going to give me a new life, and then you nearly kill me. <laughs> I take it you didn't enjoy the trap. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a... balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Snake. Amanda, a word of advice. What? Stop treating him like a child. Yes. Yes, I know. You're right. I shouldn't. Amanda, you're coming back after your leg heals, right? Of course. We still have work to do. We, huh? Are you sure you've got Chico's future in mind when you say that? What do you mean? We're sworn to our father's cause, to helping the revolution succeed. Revolution or no revolution, you pick up a gun and sooner or later you're going to hell. Are you prepared for that? I am. If the alternative is giving up the country I love, I'll take hell. Really? Well then, you're gonna have to stop treating Chico like a brother, and start treating him like a soldier. I... You're right. Welcome to hell. Snake, can I ask you a favor? Shoot. You find any prisoners from El Frente, you bring him back alive. Because... Hmm. You're trying to make amends for talking. Uh, not just that. Because they're compas. All right. But first, I've got to catch up to that cargo. I'll do whatever I can to help. Call me if there's anything you need to know about the area. And... And what? Let me know if you encounter any wildlife you've never seen before. Never seen before? What, like that Basilisco you were talking about? I'm talking about UMAs. UMAs? You know, like 
ancient dinosaurs or, or legendary monsters. One day, I'm going to be a hunter. Praise that right. close. Okay. Oh, yes. Sure. <laughs> if you want to know more, I'm happy to tell you. Right. I'll be in touch, Chico. Okay, Snake. The enemy's cargo is headed for the next outpost, a rail terminal. Chico says no one's ever set foot past there. Their main base is probably on the other side of that tunnel. Unless we catch those spears before reaching it, they'll be in enemy hands. You've got to stop them. Hurry, Snake. You want to squeeze in one more mission? Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Boss, I had an idea. Listen to this. Let me guess. You want to start running ads in the local gossip rags. Please, what do you take me for? I thought that with all the new guys we've got, we should get an intel team going. We'd send agents around the country to scout out different locations. That way we're better prepared, no matter where we end up. Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea. They could probably develop recon equipment for us too. We could also have them transport goods and direct the mother base support strikes. You can send an item to a co-op teammate from the delivery menu. Hey, we can send items now. I think it's like items and troops. I think the thing with troops is that you can have them uh, as long as it's the same. Um... Oh no, no wait, that's the trade item. Or... So yeah, when you're trading uh, troops, they I think they have to be the same rank, but it doesn't matter which uh, team they're in. New plant. Oh, we got a new platform. Heck. Right, let's just go to my staff real quick. No. even more like him <laughs> or is it the same portrait i think it's the same portrait freaking cargill his uh <laughs> his quote's hilarious cargill okay hang on <coughs> you want me also to get last Cargill's night right. too late it's all on my diary now <laughs> <laughs> you tell him big floppa <laughs> Smoking a cigar. What the hell is a sea lemon? I have no idea. I, I'm not gonna like the answer to this, am I? <laughs> common name to a group of medium-sized to large shellless colorful sea slugs or nudibranchs. Hmm. Specifically Dorid nudibranchs in the taxonomic family Dor uh, Dorididae. Uh, other closely related families uh, these are marine gastropod mollusks. That's that's your that's your lesson for the day folks. Learn something new every day. I usually stick them in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like go through all the uh, 
If I, wasn't there a command to make everyone go back to the waiting room? Um, I don't remember. Probably all. I don't know, it's nowhere near as like useful as the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. one from Peace Walker was. I mean, not Peace Walker, a Phantom Pain. Actually got into that. I got a trophy for that. What, for sending the Doritos? Yeah, just for sending an item. Huh. Part because I've never done it. I think that's, yeah, I think that's like the only thing I'm missing, just a lot of co-op stuff. According to Chico, the nuclear materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. search just picks it up automatically. Yeah. terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. To get to the coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. Got him. out. Oh. 
Holton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Oh. You got him? Nice. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Oh, well, we could have skipped. We could have went the other way. Could we? Yeah, there was two ways out. Eh, whatever. No bigs. How, how did we go the other way? Oh. Corrupted. Actually, let's, let's, There's let's a coffee back. factory to the northeast. It. Should be to the east. Oh, I think I know what it is. Uh, I think it's like a wall we can be able to get over. Ah. We didn't reinforce the area. Corrupted. Nah, it's, it's still empty. This one. Sneak out, sneak in. Okay, looks like you got snake formation down pat. It's one of these sides. No, I think you're right. Gotta do something up. We either need to hop the wall or use the uh Corrupted. Can the box hold it. Oh. And uh Alright. It's just uh Nope, that's not it. Oh, here, here you go. Huh. Corrupted. Huzzah! Clever man. Oh, I see a POW over there on the right side. Come out. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. See anybody in that guard? Fulton launcher for that one too. I don't remember if there was a way to be able to get up there. Maybe? Eh. Figure it out. Oop. What was that? Oh. <laughs> POW! <laughs> Oh, 
Bolton recovery helicopter is complete. Yeah, I think we need the Fulton launch to get that dude up there. Yeah. Pass through the coffee factory to reach the train terminal. POW over there behind the, uh, the coffee on the right side. I see him. Come out! Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Coffee smell can, of love? Because mm. I know Encanta means love. It's made with. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? I thought it was going to be uh, cut off there. Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. Of them? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Check out the cargo.
fucking cannon. Yeah. Now it's to be continued. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I should have it in here. With this one. No, that's not it. Oh, it's this one. rank even with the uh the alert phase wow 15 i used all of my <laughs> i used all of my fultons oh we got an m60 oh sonic eye nice i like using that more than the uh, um the other one that we have Iguana being reasoned with in the brig due to intense hostility. Iguana? Yeah. He looks like Brewster from Animal Crossing. <laughs> He's got the same glasses and the fucking mustache. Magpie. Lobster. <laughs> oh god, what the... <laughs> the mustache and glasses. Wow. Extreme intense hostility. He's probably gonna give you a cauliflower ear. <laughs> <laughs> Lime soda rank one. Ooh, Doritos. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. We'll get all of these uh, things developed, and then we'll call it. And yeah, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. APC's almost done. Surround indicator. Habu Viper. What the heck is a Habu Viper? I'm too shy to talk to people. I believe in you, boss. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a type of viper. Oh, kind of cute. It's kind of like... Oh, there's one picture of it. It kind of looks like a... Uh... It's like a gecko head on a snake body. One's totally rocking like the Abe Lincoln beard. Butterfly fish. Blackfish This is a POW. joining us tonight uh, thanks again to mike for being a part of this we'll see more of us tomorrow we'll do some more missions uh some of the extra ops i'll probably do off stream if i have the time yeah but um yeah that'll be the plan 
Uh, Wednesday, we'll come back with more uh, Aliens, Fire Team Elite. Uh, that'll be for Wednesday and the following Friday. We'll keep going with that. I think we'll probably finish Aliens on uh, on Friday, and we'll spin for the next game. But the following Wednesday for that will be the start of the War for Wakanda uh, DLC for Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, because this one will take a while. Um, <laughs> Not sure how long. Actually, um, let me see if... Because I know I didn't get all the parts uh, imported from my f initial run back in year one for this game. Um, somewhere in here. This Peace Walker lasted a while. Hmm. says 13 parts but it's because some of them didn't get uh, or broken up because uh, what called, hitbox was still unstable so the streams uh. broken apart into pieces I don't even remember if all my streams were uh, were all imported so this might be incomplete yeah. yeah I don't remember this being a super long game yeah I did put a lot of time into yeah it, me too I already closed the game. I don't even remember what I put in for my uh, my main save. It was like 130 hours, I think. Uh, there. Yeah, it's probably about what I put in. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll come back for more of that tomorrow. And, yeah, that'll be the plan. Uh, a lot of co-op, like Mike said. Um, on what? No, you mentioned that on your stream, not on mine. But, yeah, a lot of co-op. We got... This, Aliens, Avengers. Uh, I don't think Back I have any other co op games after this on the wheel. <laughs> I think everything else is all single player now. So Yeah, Backwind and I are probably going to do uh, Wolfenstein Young Blood sometime in the near future. Ooh, that'd be fun. Eh, I heard it was okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, for the most part, but still, co op is always fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can catch Mike on his channel. He is streaming some more Star Ocean tomorrow, I believe. Mm -hmm. Star Ocean Last Hope. So yeah, check him yep. out. And then um where's my keyboard? You can catch the rest of the lazy streamers via this first link. Uh that you can be able to find others such as Bat Gwyn, Gumdolf, Shadow Knight, along with others in our circle, such as Ninety Eight Tough Love, Warwick Zero, Rainarchy, and many others. Just come hang out with us, come be lazy with us. The second link, although I do need to update it, will take you to the sister site for this channel. There you can be able to find more information on other upcoming streams as well as my archive. You can check out my dated uh, first try well, back in year one. Well, not first try, but yeah, first stream of this. The audio quality is probably shit because that was before <laughs> I had the Roxio. I had the, um, no, uh, the Elgato. I had an, uh, a Roxio game capture, and this wasn't even HDMI. It was all component uh, video, so it's very like low quality. Yeah, I think I had the same uh, card when I first did uh, El Shaddai. Oh, really? I don't even remember when I got my Elgato. I think it was after I came back, and that was for year two. But yeah, it was it was a long time ago. God, it doesn't feel like that. But <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my archive. And you got any questions, comments, or concerns that you would like me to know about, or any suggestions you might have me for future Let's Plays? Although I have a lot in my backlog already. Uh, suggest some N64 games. I don't know. I've got two in mind already. One of them, Perfect Dark. Um, yeah, it's contact page. Shoot them out to me over there. Also, scroll down below or off to the side, depending on which platform you're watching from. To, excuse me. Catch. Uh, other streamers that I personally like to watch and follow, check them all out wherever you can. They're all great. Again, thank you for joining us tonight, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Revisited. Until then, take care. Take care, love and hype. Life is good. My PS3 is acting up. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all have a good night. Good night.